Uh, just spacing, ball movement. Um, you know, we play, you know, side to side. Um, able to get them scrambling, um, you know, attack the paint. And the way they play defense, everybody is in the paint. So we had a lot of kick out, you know, for open threes. You've taken a lot more free throws these past five games than you did in the first uh, 15 games or whatever. Um, you think that's a sign of you being more aggressive attacking the rim? Uh, I'm just getting foul calls. Yeah. <laughs> But has that been a goal to be more aggressive going to the rim, or do you think it's, that's, it's as simple as the refs? Uh, it's both, you know. Uh, you know, I'm shooting a lot of threes. I don't think I can get to the paint as much, but uh, I'm trying to mix it mix it up, you know. Uh, guys are starting to run me off the line. Um, just show them different, you know, uh, options. Out of the last couple games, you've gotten off to a hot start, <clears throat> hit shots early, and taken a bunch of shots in, in that first quarter. Is that a concerted effort, or is it just coincidence that that's happened to happen in two straight games? Um, I mean, the way we've been playing, um, you know, getting up and down the court, uh, spreading the ball, and just attacking the rim. And like I said, John and Brad do a good job of attacking the rim. Um, that, you know, guys are open on the outside, and we just, you know, you know we're getting good looks. Uh, now they're starting to fall. Are you better now than you used to be in terms of like just finding where to be seamlessly in transition, just like knowing when you should go straight to the rim, knowing when you should go to the corner, that kind of stuff? Uh, I mean, what do you think? It doesn't matter what I think. I want to know your opinion. I mean, whatever's working is working. I don't know. What do you think of the, the bench play tonight? You know, Austin obviously had a, had a big game. What do you think of Great that? game. Um, you know, they brought energy. Um, you know, the bench, you know, you know, kept the game where we where we wanted it. And they were able to take the lead and um, make some good stops. They played great. What do you like about uh, the impact Keith is having on the bench? Uh, he's just giving us another, you know, weapon um, to come in with the bench. Uh, and it's working for us. I think they just have trouble keeping us out of the paint. So. Um, <clears throat> Tough line up the guard. We have four guys who can attack the basket, and then our fifth guys keep it spread the floor. There's really no stopping. You know, it's really just on us to make shots at that point because you're not going to keep us out of the paint. The guys are cutting and moving. And then you got Otto who also can uh, spread the floor too. So, yeah, it's a tough line up the guard. It makes it easy to read. Yeah, I mean, you just space out and you have an attack. Um, you know, one thing I've learned, I think I finally. I don't think I know. I, I got down now. It's like you can't defer. You know, the court is on the grass. If anything, you have to be more aggressive. Uh, and they actually like that too because it, it makes it easier for them because you'll attack and then you, they get easy shots. You know what I mean? Instead of them having to work for every shot. Um, so just continue doing that and just attacking. As soon as I get in, no easy into the game at all. And just let them jump. You, know, you had a couple uh, steps where you made cuts and I think first Saddle found you, then Otto found you. Right. Is that something that has just kind of grown over time as you got more used to playing right. with them? Yeah, I'm starting to just figure it out. You know what I mean? Just moving out the ball, just constantly moving, constantly moving. Especially late clock when there's like six or eight, you know, eight or eight seconds or less. Guys usually tend to watch because they think it's a one-on-one -on -one play. When you cut, you get a lot of easy points that way. So it's one thing. I'll Definitely, especially with Sato. Sato's a willing passer. What do you think uh, Marquise has added to that second? Uh, just yeah. to the space. Because you have to play his jump shot. So it's like, even when he's missing, everybody knows he's such a capable shooter. So I think you just had another guy who can score and another guy who spaces the floor. That's pretty much what it was. Uh, you know, they threw the first punch. And, you know, we would we withstood that. And, you know, we, we started punching back. And we punched for a little bit longer. What have you seen from uh, Keith, Keith, particularly this game, the last few games? It seems like he's, he's locked in a little bit. I wouldn't say that. I think he's just finding his rhythm. You know, he's finding his rhythm. He's getting, you know, touches and he's playing his hardest like he always does. Um, you know, Keith is a very tough soldier. So, you know, whenever he's not playing at his best, it might mean something. But, you know, he's one of the toughest people I've ever played against. I mean, played with and against. So, I mean, I'm just happy that he's on my side. How can you all sustain this cohesiveness? It was a great team effort today. So how can you all maintain that moving forward? Just keep getting better. Uh, you know, reciprocate the same energy that we put out tonight. And, you know, I think we, it'll work for us when we play defense and getting to get scores in transition, it really works for us. What, what do you think uh, Thomas Bryant brings to that starting lineup? Um, obviously, the starting last three games. Energy. Uh, he runs the floor. Um, you know, he can test every shot. He plays very hard. You know, that's all we could ask him to do. Hopefully he does that well.